Hi, good morning. Welcome back to Escape Forever Free. I'm your girl, Faith. Here we are teaming together to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. If it's your first time joining us, a very special welcome to you. If you are a returning visitor or a subscribed member, a very extra, extra special welcome back to our channel. We are in our one hour alone time kickstart devotional guide. Here we aim to work together to build the healthy habit of spending at least one hour with God every single day. So what you do here is that you choose your best sacrificial time each day or ahead for the week. You turn up at that time as consistently as you can. You follow this video and at the end of it, it kickstarts you to go into your one hour alone time with God. All right. So if you do not have this um, practice in your lifestyle, we invite that you consider to set up a plan to spend more time with God at least one hour every day. And of course, we do encourage that you prayerfully consider subscribing to our channel to get this support. We do also offer exercise, juicing, and mental expression and educational guide in the same channel. So we do invite that you peruse the channel to see if anything else could be of support to you. All right, so we're still in the season of the great controversy for our one hour alone time kickstart devotional. It is our guide. We also are guided by the King James Version of the Bible. We do follow the 1888 edition of the great controversy. So we ask that you grab those two books and join us. We will now pray and continue into the rest of our one hour alone time kickstart devotional routine. Again, welcome to Escape Forever Free. Let us pray. Righteous Father, we thank you for another day that you've provided for us. We thank you for the week that you have given us. Father, we pray for the forgiveness of our sins now as we come before you, that you send your Holy Spirit to search us and, and see whatever filthy ways that are still within us that we're hanging on to. We pray that you will forgive us of our sins and you'll separate us from all the filth and all the grime of sin and sinning. We pray, Father, that you'll help us to hate sin and stay wide and far from all iniquities. We pray now that as we go into looking at spending more time to you in your word, that you will truly draw near to us as you promise, as we make effort to draw near to you. We also ask for enlightenment as we continue, Father, in these difficult times. We pray for strength and discipline of mind and spirit to rise from our slumbers each day as it require, or to pause from our busyness to sit with you, to sup with you, to commune with you, and to receive empowerment from on high so we can be successful in this fight of the controversy. Give us light now as we come to you this morning. In Jesus' precious name, amen. All right, so let's go to our memory text, our memory text that we are trying to commit to memory. Our memory text this week comes to us from St. Matthew 16 and verse 26, and it reads, For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his soul? Or what shall a man gain, in ex give in exchange for his soul? Again, St. Matthew 16 and verse 26. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? We pray God help us to commit this to memory, to be able to recall it in due season. And we pray that we truly deeply reflect upon this riveting question about the condition and the way in which we treat our, our soul and the way in which we treat our salvation. May God help us to choose life. All right. Chapter 23 is now where we are in the great controversy. It is entitled, What is the Sanctuary? So clearly we'll be going into the sanctuary message. If you have not read of it before, I invite you to join us in it. And of course, there's much um, description and con communication about the sanctuary message in the book of Hebrews. So we do invite also that you take up um, reading the book of Hebrews during this reading of the Great Controversy, as well as um, Daniel also speaks to the sanctuary. All right, so let us go now into our reading. So we pick up right now at page 409.1. What is the sanctuary? So the scripture which above all others 
had been both the foundation and central pillar of the Advent faith was the declaration in Daniel 8 verse 14. It says, Unto 2,300 days, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. These had been familiar words to all believers in the Lord's soon coming. By the lips of thousands was the, this prophecy repeated as the watchword of their faith. All felt that upon all felt that upon the events therein foretold depended their brightest expectations and most cherished hopes. These prophetic days had been shown to terminate in the autumn of 1844. In common with the rest of the Christian world, Adventists then held that the earth or some portion of it was the sanctuary. They understood that the cleansing of the sanctuary was the purification of the earth by the fires of the last great day and that this would take place at the second advent. Hence the conclusion that Christ would return to the earth in 1844. But the appointed time had passed and the Lord had not appeared. The believers knew that God's word could not fail. Their interpretation of the prophecy must be at fault. But where was the mistake? Many rashly caught the knot of difficulty by denying that the 2,300 days ended in 1844. No reason could be given for this except that Christ had not come at the time they expected him. They argued that if the prophetic days had ended in 1844, Christ would then have returned to cleanse the sanctuary by the purification of the earth by fire and that since he had not come, the days could not have ended. To accept this conclusion was to renounce the former reckoning of the prophetic periods. The 2,300 days had been found to begin when the commandment of our taxes for the of Artaxerxes for the restoration and building of Jerusalem went into effect in the autumn of AD of AD or BC 457. Taking this as the starting of AD 457, taking this as the starting point, there was perfect harmony in the application of all the events foretold in the explanation of the period. We read about this in Daniel 9, verses 25 to 27. When we come back to our presentation, we will pick up right at this part of the page, and we will read Daniel 9, 25 to 27 together. We also encourage you to read it ahead, so that when we pick up tomorrow at page 409.3, you'll be attuned on the conversation. We're going to stop here for today, as we... Now continue into chapter 23 of the Great Controversy. Let's go to our meditation on him as you bring this segment to a close and you get ready to spend your alone time with God. Our hymn for this chapter is hymn number 412, Cover With His Life. We do stanza one. Look upon Jesus, sinless is he. Father imputes life unto me, my life of scarlet, my sin and woe, cover with his life, whiter than snow, cover with his life, whiter than snow. Fullness of his life, then sh shall I know my life of scarlet, my sin and woe, cover with his life, whiter than snow. 
Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for another day that we have spent together. Please, bless what we have heard, Father. Let it not fall upon deaf ears. And Father, please, may we go and examine further. May we truly desire to know truth and to follow truth and to love truth. Lead us into all truths and, and light necessary for our salvation. And even for all those who are willing to know and to understand, please lead them into clarity as they examine the truths surrounding the sanctuary message. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Also, please give us a daily portion of our bread that we need to survive today. Perfectly we beg. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be known and always acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. God bless you. Please continue for one hour now, you and God alone. And please stick to the blueprints, the holy scriptures. It is our roadmap to eternal life. See you in our next video. God's willing.